Are you looking for altcoins with the potential to moon? Then this is the video for you. We're gonna look at three altcoins that are hyped right now and also a bonus fourth altcoin. You won't believe who is promoting it. The legendary Paul Tudor Jones. So yes, if you are interested in that, then stick around because we start right now. Okay, welcome back guys and this is the first episode of can these coins make you filthy rich? This is the series where we look at some of the most hyped coins right now and try to figure out if they are a good buy or not right now. First off, these are some of the more hyped coins right now, but there are thousands of hyped coins. So if you are not finding your favorite coins in this video, well, you know, there's just too many of them. Just keep watching. I'm gonna do more episodes like these if you enjoy this content. So if you do, please let me know down in the comment section after this video. But yes, we're looking at the overall market here so bitcoin took a massive pump yesterday crushing some altcoins but we're actually seeing a bit of a recovery here and if you actually look at the bitcoin price during the last week it's gone up about 4.3 percent so many of these altcoins are still much outperforming the bitcoin price when you look at it on a longer term with bitcoin sitting at 20 percent on a six month period you have some of these altcoins putting up amazing numbers like ave 1597 percent so yes i love bitcoin but it's actually in the altcoin markets where the massive opportunities are so which are the most hyped coins right now well one of the more hyped coins is morpheus infrastructure token mitx and to just break it down in a nutshell, if I were to describe it with like 10 words, I would say this is a app store for developers. So you have the app store for, you know, people who want to use apps that is on iPhone. And then you have a DApp store for developers. So if we go down to the price, you can see that this had a massive pump here on the 4th of August, actually going up by what is this? like 100 uh, doubling in price, essentially. Now, this was because this was featured in a very popular YouTubers newsletter or paid newsletter, I should say. But now it has actually had quite a significant dump. So perhaps this could be a buy an opportunity. And as you see here, this is actually resting on support. And by the way, guys, I want to make one thing clear. Nothing in these videos are buying recommendations. Never. You will never get buying recommendations. I am simply giving you my information, what I think and what I am doing personally. But we move on and we look at the website. So their mission is to provide efficient connectivity among all networks and resources. It provides an easy access and mission critical tools that enables developers to develop, test and manage blockchain apps application using different blockchain protocols within an efficient time frame to achieve cost efficiency and a fail safe environment. So as I said, uh, imagine this as a dApp store, like you have an app store for iPhone and you can plug in and you can pick from already developed apps or dApps in this case, and they support multiple blockchains. For example, Ethereum, VeChain, Multichain, NEM, Neo, Nulls, Waves, Quarkchain, Steam, Icon and Fusion. So if someone is interested in running these uh, applications or running any application or software on any of these blockchains then they can plug into morpheus labs this product and they can try to find already developed apps and what is the incentives for people to develop apps well that is one of the interesting things with this project because if you are a developer you can develop apps you can put it on the dapp store and then projects using these blockchains can just plug in and they pay you to be able to use your application. So we scroll down and you see here, save 60% in time, select a blockchain and develop in your preferred language in just a few minutes. You have 25 plus ready to go stacks, saving cost, get a blockchain application from our app library and revolutionize your company. And then they also offer a full stack services such as storage blockchain, CDE, GitHub, and much more. This is the actual dashboard where you can plug in you can see which apps are available for any of these blockchains and you can interact and they also have a subscription model and that is where the token comes into play so you use the mtxc token to pay for subscriptions and these subscriptions they vary from like anywhere from ten dollars up to thousand dollars and more if you are an enterprise and they offer all kinds of different packages also, MITx is, uh, of course, uh, rewarded to the DAP builders who are building applications. They get rewarded in MITx. If you want to list your app on this platform, then you are paying with MITx. And also, you can stake MITx if you are a builder. If you stake MITx, if you consider it like something like paying for ads, 
this is the equivalent because if you stake MITx, your app is actually going to be pushed higher on the ranking. So that's a kind of a simple but cool incentive. I don't want to get too drawn out here because we have two or actually three more projects to go through. But all I will say uh, to kind of round this project up is what I like is that this product could actually succeed both in a bear and in a bull market. Because in a bull market, obviously, the tokens are going to increase in value. But also in a bear market, there's still going to be demand for these applications and still people are going to try to build stuff. And also, if you don't want to use MITx, you can actually pay with fiat as well. If you pay with fiat, they are buying MITx on the open market with that fiat. So it's still good for the MITx token. Now, in terms of uh, the market, Market cap. This is actually at 14 million, which is not that big. I mean, this definitely have potential to 10x or even 100x depending on the success and the overall market. If this were to 10x, that would put it somewhere around the, the vicinity of the middle of the stack here. And if it were to 100x, let me just check that real quick. So 1.4 billion, it would put it somewhere in the top 10. That is, of course, within this current market. If this overall market continues to go up, this could easily uh, 10 or 100x if this truly get adopted. And that is really the uh, core question here. How much is this going to be adopted? That is where you have to make up your own mind. Do you think there is a... How big of an industry really is there for something like this to have a platform to sell dApps? I mean, it sounds good. It definitely has potential. But also know if this were to 10x or 20x or 100x, it would mean that it has to not only push down these uh, projects that are already up and running. Not up and running. That was actually a... Uh, not a correct statement. What I mean is that these coins are already established, so it would have to put down established coins. And not only that, it would also have to outperform these new coins coming up. So that is something you have to consider. But yeah, they already have a working product, so that's good. They have a following on Twitter, 14,000. and They are putting out updates, so I like to see that. It has had a pump already, but it's seen some consolidation. I am personally going to hold off a bit and see if this can actually reach these lower levels. But yeah, this is definitely not a super bad time to buy, in my opinion, if you are willing to get into this project or if you are looking to get into this project. Because yeah, we are resting on support here. Next up, we're going to try to be quicker with these coins now as we're running out of time. I don't want this video to become like uh, 25 minutes. So Trust Swap, this is also one of the more hyped coins. 47% increase here in a day. You can see it for yourself here having a massive run. And actually, this recently 20x from its uh, initial price. Oh, that's Swipe. Let's see what they have to say. Swipe. Okay, Swipe's journey to create a better crypto experience for its users never stops. So that's cool to see. But yes, Trust Swap. So what is Trust Swap? Well, it does not have a market cap. Actually, it does over on Coin Gecko. It has a market cap of 93 million. So this is already big. The question is, how much can this grow? Well, if you look at what they are trying to do, it's actually pretty compelling. So they have escrow, time release, smart swaps. And to break it down in a nutshell, let's imagine that I have oil, you have money. You want me to deliver you 50 barrels of oil in a week. That is our agreement. And you want to pay me X amounts of US dollars for each week, providing you with 50 barrels of oil. Now, what these guys are doing is that they are giving you the opportunity to actually implement this into a smart contract so we put it into the contract that i am going to receive x amount of us dollars you already have allocated the total amount in the smart contract so i know that you have the money it's already there all i have to do is provide you with 50 barrels of oil so this is kind of a trustless way of uh, of doing transactions and deals on the blockchain using escrow what you also have is, uh, we're going to read through that later on. So you have the crypto subscriptions. So you can pay for services, again, in a smart contract. If Spotify or uh, Netflix want to implement this, they could implement it. We have a smart contract where I get to pay for my subscription for every month. As long as you provide me with that service, take for example Spotify, as soon as we reach those specific dates where the money is going to be released that has been programmed into a smart contract, then Spotify receives the uh, monthly subscription payment. So that's cool. But what I think is perhaps the coolest thing is the token sale, launchpad and trusted coin offerings. 
So as you know right now, there's still, even though we have, uh, you know, Uniswap and people try to be transparent, I think so. But what we can do right now is we can have this in a trustless manner. What I mean by that is when you're having a token sale, what is the lockup for the early investors? What are the team doing with their coins? And when are they going to receive their coins? What are the conditions regarding the uh, tokens that the uh, team have and the, and the treasuries? I mean, the company itself. Can they just dump these into the open market? This is where TrustSwap comes in. So you can actually program this into the token sale itself. You say, okay, so the early investors, they have this specific amount of tokens and they're going to be released at this specific time same for the team okay the team members and the founders they're going to get these amounts of tokens released at this point and also all the tokens that the project itself has they have this much tokens and they're going to be released at this point so it becomes completely trustless which i like and i guess uh, in the future if you believe that trust swap are going to succeed and this is actually going to be implemented into the uh, token sale uh, like imagine this okay you could have a standard like invest into our token sale and we are fully secured with trust swap meaning that all the information in the white paper because yes all the ICOs and stuff, they have a white paper. So they talk about these things in the white paper. The problem is, can you trust them? Well, if they have gone through trust swap, then this is the middleman. These are the guys, trust swap, who are ensuring that all the information that is in the white paper, everything that's stated is actually programmatically correct. It's in a smart contract, so you cannot fiddle with it. And as he said here, a venture capital firm wanted to invest $50,000 into a project tokens at a discount. Our company wanted to make sure that once the tokens were sent, they wouldn't sell them all at once and crash the token price. The only way to ensure this was to hire a lawyer, to act as a middleman who could send fractional amounts of the tokens to the VC firm over time for a 5-10% to fee. So, okay, now we get it. Now we're starting to understand the whole point of trust swap. Trustless when it comes to tokens. That's super nice. Okay, we already went through this. All you have to do is set the amount to be paid, the number of payments to be made, how much to set each payment to, and you're done. This is the example I talked about in the beginning of this video when it comes to the barrels of oil, for example, if we have a deal. Now, this thing, as I said, it already has a $100 million market cap. It is listed on some, uh, yeah, it's actually listed on Uniswap, but then it's on Poloniex as well. So is this going to be listed on Binance and on KuCoin and stuff? Yes, I think so. This is big enough to be listed on these exchanges. It's very hyped and also this guy, I mean, they are paying a lot of influence. They are paying just about any YouTuber to talk about TrustSwap. So he, uh, I think he has some connections as well with some exchanges. So yeah, expect this to be listed on some major exchanges here in the near future. Now, am I going to buy this? I never, I mean, this has gone up so much, so I don't want to buy anyone else's bag who is looking to dump, but I don't know. I mean, in this one, you will just have to, it's it's a lot about gut feeling here, to be honest. Can this go up another 100% to reach a $200 million market cap? Absolutely. In fact, if this becomes the go-to standard, just like Chainlink has become the go-to standard for oracles, this could go easily 10x. But just remember that the coin is already big, so I am not seeing 100x potential here within this current market. But 10x is definitely possible. Now we go into the third coin, which is Dia. So Dia actually is going up right now. So that's a bit... Uh, I mean, I wanted to buy this at a discount. I just recorded another uh, news video, which is yet to be released. So by the time you watch this video, you will have another video here as my latest video where I talked about I am going to buy Dia. I talked about the uh, dump on the 18th of August. Now it's actually gone up in price so yeah uh, too late for me i guess but no i'm looking into getting an allocation of dia because now we have actually had the uh august 18th dump so the lockup period is uh, is over and now i'm expecting some volatility here because this is all about uh, trying to figure out what other people are going to do with their money so there's some game theory here the people buying right now are these the people who anticipated this dump and now they are buying in well, what if there are a lot of people still who are holding and waiting, anticipating this bounce back just to dump again? I mean, there were, what was it, like 10 million tokens. That's actually a lot. 
It says here that there's only 8 million in circulation. This cannot be correct. Anyhow, do your research on Dia, but this is a coin I'm looking to get into. What is it? Well, we already know oracles. You already know what an oracle is. So think of it like a chain link and like a band. In fact, if you go to my oracle list here, you can see, and we sort this by market cap, you can see that uh, Dia token actually has the lowest market cap of all these other Oracle coin. So this definitely has the biggest potential to actually grow just looking at the market cap. Now those are the three coins and uh, I want to talk about Paul Tudor Jones as well because he went from a Bitcoiner to an altcoiner. <laughs> in a matter of uh, like a week. So two other projects I highly encourage investors in this space to check out are Centivet and Chainlink. So what is Centivet? Well, Centivet has a market cap of 15 million dollars in market cap. You can actually get Centivet on Uniswap currently, which is the um yeah, Uniswap basically. And if we go to their website, the future of the web, Centivet is a hybrid web built to be viable and realistic replacement for the modern web safer faster and more scalable than any solely centralized or decentralized web so okay <laughs> to paul to the jones he's super bullish on scent of it i don't know you do your research on this thing guys but if you enjoyed this episode then make sure to uh comment down in the comment section would you like me to do more of these videos where i go through some of the most hyped coins right now and give you my thoughts on them i always appreciate your feedback and guys i will see you guys in the next video